Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll continue with the shell scripting. So in the previous tutorial, I've already told you what is shell scripting, uh, why we use it, and um, also we have uh, seen the difference between an interpreter and a compiler. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorial, I recommend you to just go back, watch, and then continue with this tutorial. So here in this tutorial, I'll just continue with the um, a basic program in shell scripting. So let me use the vi editor in order to create the file and uh, insert few commands into it. So as I am in the desktop, you can see it, uh, or as you can say pwd, that's pow present working directory, to that will be displayed. So let me um, use my vi editor. So vi, then the text dot sh, I'm, I'm going to write a shell scripting program, the extension is dot sh, okay. So here, it's in the command mode. In order to convert that to an insert mode, just say I, and it, you can see that got changed to insert. So here, let me type some commands like cal, calendar, date, and um, who am I? Who? No, so you can see I'm have ty I'm typing few set of command in order to, you know, to execute it once. So then escape colon wq in order to save the file so the file is created so in order to execute this uh, shell script you just need to say sh text dot sh just give the shell uh, program name enter and you can see the all commands got executed at once so this is a basic uh, shell scripting program that I wanted to show how to you know uh, to run it so you can so this is one method of uh, running um, a set of commands in by putting it to a file and there is another method also see i'll show you how to run the commands or uh, some two three commands in one line itself it's a very easy step just we need to say cal then the semicolon then date semicolon then who then enter you can see all the commands get executed in case if you want to repetitively you know repetitively use the set of commands by putting it to one file you can use the shell script this is another method of running um, the different set of commands so this is what is about uh, the basic uh, mm, creation of a shell scripting and how to run it and all so in the next tutorial we'll see uh, how we can uh, print out a um, line and also read a read uh, the whatever the user enters through from his keyboard and also our variables and read only variables and also we can see the loops conditions and all uh, so we'll see all those things step by step in the next tutorial so hope uh, this was helpful if there are any queries then please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and thank you very much for watching